Hidden River Middle School, let's play Monopoly, Library Edition. In the traditional game of Monopoly, a player wins by collecting a variety of properties and earning the most money. In our game of Monopoly, the same will hold true. You will collect properties based upon the reading genre of that month, and along the way you will have a chance to earn money. Winners of the Monopoly game will be decided in June based on who's collected the most properties as well as houses and hotels. So let's get started. If you haven't done so already, stop by the library and choose your game piece. Cut it out, add your name to it, and we will put it up on the game board. The reading genre for the month of October is scary. If you haven't done so already, stop by the library and check out a book. You have a chance to earn three properties in the month of October. The first is to read a scary book. The second property is earned by writing a short scary story. And the third is by creating a digital project. To earn your first property card, read a scary chapter book. It doesn't matter how long or short it is. After you finish that, either create a plot map or write a written book summary or stop by the library and use Mrs. Hermes Chromebook to create a digital voice recorded review of the book that you read. For the final step, you'll grab your book and fill out your property card. To earn your second property card for the month of October, you're going to stop by the library and pick up a spooky story pre-writing sheet. You're also going to roll the dice so that you can get some good story starter information. Once you have rolled the dice, you're going to gather that information and you're going to add it onto your pre-write sheet. Write a one-page story, turn that story into Mrs. Hermes, and don't forget to pick up your second property card. Property card number three is meant for you to be able to create a super fun, cool project. Please see me for more ideas or for some websites. First of all, you could start by creating a book trailer. Use your phone, apps on your phone, or a device at home. Go online to Powtoons and create a really cool digital book trailer. The scary story that you created for project number two, you can add to book track using sound effects. Or go online to free comic strips and create your own graphic novel. Or draw your own one-page graphic novel. Each of these property cards is worth $10. Once you've collected your money, You'll also make sure and color in the corresponding property on your game card. This is the official game card which is kept in the library and will be used to determine the overall winner in June. Property cards can be completed in any order and you can complete one or all three. It's up to you. Just know that a new challenge will start again the next month. If you do complete all three property cards for the month of October, you will move to the game piece, Scary and you will receive prize number one, which for the month of October is a poster. Monopoly money can be earned through property cards, but can also be given to you by your teachers for demonstrating good hawk habits, such as having a positive attitude or completing your homework on time. Monopoly money can be spent at the Monopoly store, which opens on October 24th. You will find a variety of prizes that you can purchase, as well as gifts and other items, there will also be opportunities for you to purchase things such as homework passes and even a property card. If you want to get a jump start on reading for November, the genre of the month will be historical fiction. So thanks for listening and don't forget to play Monopoly!